How are you doing, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ? We have now entered into the Holy Week. This is the final week in our moment of Lent. It begins with Palm Sunday, or the Sunday of the Passion of our Lord. Today we are celebrating how Christ entered into Jerusalem and he was proclaimed as the Messiah, the Son of David, who has come to liberate all of us. And we also make the reenactment in our various parishes. We do so in this solemn mass in two parts. The first part is a grand procession into the holy house of God. And it begins with the ritual where we bless and we pray over the palms. These palms, my dear brothers and sisters, resemble the greatness of the Lord. These palms, my dear brothers and sisters, speak about how humanity views Jesus Christ as the Lord. Let us remember that in the Old Testament, Jehu was also celebrated in a similar way by the Israelites. And so for them, palms became that symbol which speaks about a king. And so in our celebrations, we may not necessarily have palms. And in place of palms, we use branches. And in some places, it is also called Branch Sunday. On this day, the whole church is praying. And it is celebrating at the success of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so to begin the first form of this commemoration of the Lord's entrance into Jerusalem, a solemn profession is a whole. At an appropriate hour, a gathering takes place at a small church or other suitable place other than inside the chapel to which the procession will go. The faithful hold branches in their hands, wearing the red sacred vestments for the mass. The priests and the deacon, accompanied by other ministers, approach the place where the people are gathered. Instead of the chasuble, the priest may wear a cope, which leaves aside when the procession is over and puts on a chasuble. But meanwhile, the following antiphon can be sang, and this antiphon has to be sang. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Hosanna is the highest. And Hosanna in Hebrew means save us. Hosanna in Hebrew means he is here to deliver us. Let us all sing and say Hosanna. For Jesus Christ is coming to deliver us from poverty, to deliver us from evil spirits, to deliver us from sin, to deliver us from death. He has entered Jerusalem for a purpose. People saw him coming in. They thought that he was going to dethrone the Sanhedrin. They thought that he was going to upset the Pharisees. But he has come so that he can deliver you and me from the spiritual bondage that we suffer day in and day out. And so, after this, the priest and the people sing themselves while the priest says, In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, then he gets the people in the usual form. A brief address is given in which the faithful are invited to participate actively and consciously in the celebration of this day. After the address, the priest says one of the prayers that are to follow. Almighty ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing that we may follow Christ the King in exaltation May we reach eternal life and may we live and reign with you forever and ever. He then sprinkles the branches with holy water without saying anything. Then a deacon or a priest proclaims in the usual way the gospel concerning the Lord's entrance according to one of the four gospels. And this year, in year C, we shall read Luke chapter 19, verse 28 to 48. Jesus went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. 
when he drew nearer to Pethar and Bethany, at the mound that is called Olivet, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village opposite, where on entering you will find a cold tide, and on which no one has yet have ever set before, and tie it and bring it here. Now, there's a great spiritual symbolism here. Jesus is sending two of his disciples. Tradition says this is Peter and John. 